Time to get rid of two years of grime and dust of hard streaming during lockdown. Time to take out the uh, air blower. Decided to use this instead of compressed air. Seemed really, really good. Um, I'll chuck an affiliate link in the description if you want to use it. Seemed to blow out all of the dust. Uh, bear in mind, do keep hold of your fans when you're flying them around because you don't want to wreck the bearings by making them spin too fast. So we blasted out all of the dust. It comes with little brushes and we cleaned every bit of the fans and all of the good stuff. Cleaned it right up and uh, it's quite satisfying doing this, to be honest. Getting the top of the fans, the sides and all of the stuff like this. And I decided whilst I was here, I would go ahead and replace the thermal paste on my uh, Noctua NHD15. And I figured I'd literally just showcase the process of that. So there you go. Keep hold of the fans when you blow in. And you can see how much grime and dust is blowing up from the bottom of the uh, cage there. Because I have an open mesh um, PC design. Again, keeping hold of the fans whilst you blow in the graphics card. You can see how much dust has been kicked up there. Now, my temperatures were absolutely fine. But there's nothing wrong with, you know, every couple of years giving your PC a real deep clean. And this is the NH15. There's little metal clips that you pull backwards. So you grab hold of the metal clips and you pull backwards. And then the fans come off. And there's literally just two screws and you unscrew um, very, very simply uh, one bit at a time, three turns on one screw, three turns on the other. And then it just pulls off. Take a alcohol wipe from Noctua, wipe it down, lump of your favorite uh, thermal compound. I went for the uh, Grizzly Cryonaut, squirted it on there. Uh, again, link in the description if you want to use that. Again, it's just literally two screws to unpaste it. Um, and then lift it off, yeah. And then you can see that it just sinks right back to where it was. These screws line up. And it just clicked in really, really simply. Screwed it back on, making sure to do three turns on each one uh, to apply even pressure. Put the uh, Chromex heat sinks back on. And jobs are good and.